Hello everyone, No Life here. And since it's been over a week since I have discussed the past notes for the game and of course the update itself dropped, I think it's long overdue that we go ahead and look into what in the heck they did to this game in this last week. So first and foremost, I'm stupid. <laughs> I got so distracted in another video I made about the skill tree system that I kind of forgot there was an update last week. I probably should go over so. Usually this would have came out Monday, but um, I ended up doing, of course, here Thursday night going into Friday morning. So uh, if you haven't already checked that video out, I think it was actually a pretty nice video of me going over the skill tree rework work and what fixes they can do to perfect it. But going on to today's subject here, first and foremost, there was the lobby cooldown. So I have no idea what they did to the, the lobby cooldown system. Someone on Reddit pointed out that um, I believe it's Andy Cleese responded to what they did with the lobby cooldown. It's just behind the scenes stuff from what he said. But one thing I can say that I noticed is when you dashboard to dodge a lobby without being penalized, although it will still let you go ahead and re -queue, if you are unlucky enough to have had so many people dodge that lobby that it just kind of kills the lobby for you, you would get a one minute penalty before you can re -queue. So I guess that's kind of a strange way that they decide to kind of penalize people from dodging. But moving on, hands to stem exploit. I am going to go ahead and confirm that they have fixed that because I have not seen anyone doing it. Brent I didn't see anyone do it beforehand. So if they were doing it, they were kind of sneaky with it and just really using it to um, help the swing speed or penalty or whatever the heck. Because uh, I could definitely say that for me using it, him sprinting did nothing. It was just him swinging that was like infinite swing. So very strange. Going on to hands ability tree. I said it last week. I'm going to say it this week. I don't know what they changed with all these things here to his defensive bars. Because it still doesn't like it helps at all whether it's 10 or 20% you spec into. So if it weren't for the fact that the trap setting speed is so... Minimum, like I, I literally don't see much of a difference at all. I'd go ahead and just never use a defensive barge. But uh, moving on here, we have the rip stall perk. So this one I confirm has been fixed. I have used it to rip stall, or I'm sorry, somebody who was hands, they rip stall the fuse on me. And then when I try to go right back behind them and put the fuse in, it said a rip stall. I have it shown on the screen here. Now, from look at the patch notes, it feels like maybe the generator and battery thing was what was bugged. And honestly, with there already being a one minute cooldown after you um, turn the gen on and off and all that, having a little extra Savitar 30 second is kind of useless. I mean, it doesn't hurt that it works for all four objectives, but I hate to say it, if you manage to let any of those things get turned off for a second time, you deserve them to actually get out this time. So. Moving on here, they removed the perk UI bug when they uh, had the, whatchamacallit, all the perks that were removed from characters' trees when not still showing, and the whole branching paths not connecting properly, all that's been fixed. I haven't seen any issues with that. Uh, Julie's skill tree, I think I said it last week's video, I'm going to say it again this one, they have not fixed that. And I'm also going to go ahead and point out that there are still characters who can't get to level 10, such as Johnny. They messed up here and with the right side of his tree rubber boots was formerly a random perk on johnny they didn't change it to just well rubber boots random perks were worth three points whereas normal perks were worth whatchamacallit um two points so they need to go ahead and put one skill tree point onto the rubber boot side of the tree much like they have the left side of the tree here with siphon and whatnot that way uh Maybe be able to get to level 10. It's not a big deal because although it says he's level 9, I can confirm from looking at Johnny's tree, he can get to like 31 attribute points. So, <laughs> you know, he's he's not lacking when it comes to attribute points. Johnny can get way too many attribute points, in my opinion, especially when compared to Sissy, who can barely get 20 something. <laughs> so, it really spread the love here and be fair with these attribute points. It makes no sense. Some can get like over 30, and others are a little below 20. Um, something points, but whatever. Cook skill tree knots. I don't think I've respect Cook since I even put that video out last week, but I'm gonna trust that's fixed. I think I already mentioned the disconnecting skill tree points. I kind of tied that at one. Now this is the funny part. I mentioned it last week, but uh, um, I confirmed from actually playing. 
has only kind of spoiled some things that are going over the chapter last week, but yeah. And them trying to fix issues with Maria's motto, her hair textures or whatever. Somehow they ended up just completely bugging her out. And I'm, I said it was only on the PS5. I'm pretty sure she's across the board. As I'm pretty sure I had some people on Steam react to Maria looking a little uh, cursed. So Her eyes have lost their texture. And I actually made the mistake of getting a gross-up of Maria and seeing that she had a little checkered flag-looking pattern on her eyes. So they just completely just deleted the textures for her eyes. I don't know how they managed to pull that off, how this went through cert. You'd think someone would have looked at Maria's face, especially because it's visible in the lobby when you're using her. But I mean, this is our technical game developers these days. They don't test anything, it feels like. And yet they ship all this stuff out. But regardless, here's a little look at Maria looking like a zombie, or at least I, th I thought she looked like a zombie until I got that gross up. I, I, I did you guys a favor by not actually showing that gross up of Maria. I couldn't look at it. I didn't want to look at it, and it makes it even harder to use her now that I've seen the untextured pattern of her eyes. At least when I, I thought her eyes were just milky white like she was a zombie or something, it was a little funny, you know, because everyone grabbed about how Maria's dead, how is she still play, but whatnot. Well, yeah. But, um, regardless there, the devs have confirmed they are aware of this issue, as well as the issue I almost forgot about here. With the generator, when the generator is turned off and turned back on, it does not actually make the sound of the generator being on again, so it can be very confusing. It leads to some issues, such as uh, this game I had here where I heard hands rip stall the gen across the map, and it wasn't until I realized it was hands probably trying to put his trap on using his level 3 ability that like uh, I went in and checked. And it's a little hard for you to tell from the video, but I did glance and see that the light was red, so it was on. But I, I, again, I was really confused, and I realized, oh wait, that's right. Someone mentioned that there was a bug with the jid not turning on or sounding like it was on or whatever. So <laughs> I kind of just ignored it and went about my day. But yeah, it's just so ironic that the update that fixed so much stuff ended up bugging arguably even more stuff in the game. <laughs> but um. I really hope that next week's update fixes a lot of this stuff here. They did mention that their trend for these updates now is going to be one uh, uh, one week's update is going to be mostly content with some fixes, and the other is going to be mostly fixes with some content. So unless that museum mode is coming out next week, they need to seriously step up with some of these bug fixes. I feel like ever since Black Tower stepped in, they haven't really been fixing any bugs. You know? I even used to report a lot of bugs in the support feed, and they would almost always respond to me getting more information or confirming they got the uh, bugs I'm trying to fix or whatnot, but they haven't been doing that lately, and it feels like, you know, we're in this phase where they're not fixing anything, and again, I'm not much of a fan of that, but um, moving on, we have Hitchhiker's Claymore Alpha here, which I just absolutely love. This actually, some people think it's mid, I'm like... Okay, I'm like, are you crazy? This outfit's amazing. It looks super different from what he's wearing. The only thing that didn't change is his hair. And again, it just looks awesome. But um, while we're on the subject of outfits, we do have Julie's outfit here as well. So I will let you guys see for yourself how you feel about this outfit here. Now, for those of you who have purchased this outfit when it was leaked, about a week prior it should be available to you in your inventory so you definitely want to check on that and if anything goes wrong reach out to gun so you can get what you paid for but in a surprising turn of events unfortunately thanks to the 4th of July break that a lot of developers are going out on we actually will not be getting an update to this game next week it's going to be I believe it was the 16th we're finally getting an update so they at least left us with the 12th edition of the Mortal Times to hold us off until then, so we now have a good idea on exactly what changes are coming to the game. Starting from top to bottom, we finally have the victim endurance that's been addressed. It indeed is bugged, as I said. There's so many people in disbelief that are still specking into endurance. And I'm going to say it now, just as I said many times before, don't go over 30 endurance. It does nothing. I don't even believe it does anything on Virginia and Sunny, who have 32 and 35 endurance, respectively. So this is a huge bug that's been literally in the game for, oh, had to be two months by now, so I'm glad this is finally getting fixed. We, of course, have the missing generator effects. I already went over that, so it's good to know that's being addressed. The good old basement lighting that's been missing for, uh, again, it feels like two months, so it's good to see that's finally being 
fixed or addressed. Maria's eyes already went over that, so they know about it. That's going to be fixed hopefully sooner rather than later. Now, this is an interesting one. We have the electro traps in a victim's inventory. Whenever you disarm Hands' as level 3 electro trap he puts on the uh, generator, like I was kind of discussing earlier, it sometimes will appear in a victim's inventory. It's just mostly a visual bug. It doesn't affect any gameplay. It's just something weird that would be nice for him to fix. And then rounding out the changes here, we have stuck spots and issues with cosmetic selections not saving that are going to be needing more info. I also want to point out a bug I came across when using Maria's perk here that lets her pick herself up faster from being incapacitated. Never mind the fact that it's rarely leader but selfish because it only works on her. It also lets this little bug I had here. It didn't really seem to affect anything, it just looked stupid. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I also would like to point out that Maria doesn't have any voice effects for almost every close encounter death so I think the only one she seems to have a voice effects for is Hitchhiker's kill and Hans's kill which I find ironic because those are the two that if you do beat in a close encounter the stuns are like so freaking minuscule you need to choose fight to actually be able to get away from them but yeah I went ahead and did a compilation video, sent that to the devs, so hopefully they'll fix that. When I pointed at the voice effect issues with uh, Virginia, they fixed that pretty quick, within like two weeks. So This would definitely be a good show on uh, what the response time is to fixing bugs post uh, El Sumo. But with that, I believe I've covered just about everything from last week's update. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here on a bit of a somber note. I really hope that they start to pick things up, the bug fixes, as for a good point in time, I wasn't too upset that we didn't really fix anything. The only issues I really had were stuck spots and balance issues, and then, of course, some perks not working properly. I already went over what some of those perks were when they first appeared bugged on the big June, what was it, 25th update. So I'm not going to go too crazy here with all that stuff. So, uh... As you can see here, I have Leatherface getting ready to chase me out the gate. So I think this is about the time where I go ahead and take my leave in this video right here. So as always, guys, if you like what you're seeing, you know what to do. Feel free to give me some comments down below so we can keep this discussion going. And if you haven't already, get a life.